2019 BMW M8 Grand Coupe Review. The iconic BMW 8 Series is making a comeback, and this is no longer a rumor. The return of BMW's biggest coupe yet was confirmed in 2017 when the German automaker introduced a concept car and a GTE spec race car. What's more, BMW also confirmed that the new 8 Series will get an M8 version for the very first time. Come 2018 and BMW announced plans to expand the 8 Series family with yet another model. And it's not the highly anticipated convertible but a 4-door coupe variant. Yes, the 8 Series is getting the Grand Coupe treatment and more importantly, it will come in M8 specs too. A concept version of the M8 model was unveiled at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show, and BMW confirmed that it will become a production model by the end of 2018. With the 6 Series Grand Coupe still available, the 8 Series Grand Coupe may seem a bit redundant at first glance. But given that the 6 Series is no longer available in coupe form, the Grand Coupe model could be discontinued too, which would leave the 8 Series Grand Coupe as BMW's main competitor for the Mercedes-Benz CLS and Audi A7. The M8 Grand Coupe would make things that much more interesting, as BMW will have a rival for the AMG and RS versions of the CLS and A7, respectively. The concept car provides a few valuable hints as to what to expect from the production model, but technical specifications are still a mystery. Until more data becomes available, let's have a closer look at what we already know about the upcoming M8 Grand Coupe. BMW M8 Grand Coupe Exterior While the concept car boasts a few features that aren't likely to be seen on a production car, the overall design looks familiar and shares many cues with the two-door version we've seen in recent spy shots and the GTE spec race version. I expect the production model to remain mostly unchanged up front. As seen in the rendering from x -Tomy Design, the M8 Grand Coupe could get the same front fascia styling and production guys, including the massive kidney grille with sharp edges and the big intakes in the bumper. The latter could have a slightly different shape, but the wide, aggressive stance will carry over. Changes will include chrome grille trim instead of gold or black in certain trim options, an M8 badge, and clear headlamps lenses. The concept car uses the yellow-tinted lights of the GT race car, but this feature isn't eligible for production models. On to the sides, the rendering suggests that the concept car is around 90% ready to go into production. It will probably have the same wheelbase, a similar coupe-style roof, and identical character lines. However, the production model will get a slightly taller roof, bigger side mirrors, and actual door handles. The wheels will be different as well, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the concept's two-tone rollers with gold accents available on the options list. Of course, the gold window trim will be replaced by chrome or black, while the B-pillars will become more visible. The rear end shouldn't change much. It's already heavily based on the two-door version, and it's in BMW's interest to keep both ARS familiar. The side vents are way too big for a production model, but everything else should be carried over, including the big trunk lid spoiler, the thin tail lights, and the quad exhaust layout with big, round tail pipes. BMW M8 Grand Coupe Interior While the exterior isn't a big mystery, there aren't many clues as to what we will find inside the cabin. Sure, the concept car has an actual interior that doesn't look too futuristic, but there's a good chance that BMW will change quite a few things here. The big issue here is that the concept car looks unlike any other production BIM or inside the cabin. 
This means that either BMW will change almost everything in order to make it look familiar or it will go with a unique layout for the 8th series family. Common sense say that the Germans might have used the latest 7 series as inspiration, which usually happened with the 6 series. The latest generation sedan has a evolutionary interior that retains the elegance and premium feel we usually see in the company's large sedan. But if the 7 series could be a bit too subtle for the 8 series, which is supposed to become the brand's flagship model. Simply put, the 8 series needs to stand out. In this case, we can look inside the concept car for clues, but the big question is how many of those features will make it into production? For starters, I think that the steering wheel will be replaced. This unit is not only way too sporty for a production M model, but it also lacks the controls we usually find on modern steering wheels. What's more, while a flat bottom is common in a Bimmer wearing the M badge, a flat top isn't exactly the norm. The dashboard wouldn't look out of place in a production car, but BMW will probably revise the AC vents at the corners in the center stack. The instrument cluster should get some revisions as well. The wide center console is likely to be carried over as is, which would be pretty cool. Almost every surface will be wrapped in leather and alcantara, while trim elements should include genuine wood, aluminum, and even carbon fiber. Tech-wise, it should get the same features from the 7 series, starting with the iDrive 5.0 infotainment system with touch display and gesture control. The later uses 3D sensors to detect pre-selected hand gestures to perform tasks such as adjusting the audio volume, accepting and rejecting incoming phone calls, navigating to a home address and shutting off the screen. It should also get the Touch Command Tablet, a removable 7-inch tablet that allows rear occupants to control everything from HVAC temps to infotainment, and the Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound System with 1,400 watts and 16 speakers. M8 Grand Coupe Performance The M8 Grand Coupe will most likely share underpinnings with the two-door M8, but since the latter has yet to be unveiled, we don't have official information about the drivetrain. A likely scenario is that BMW will use a beefed-up version of its twin-turbo, 4.4-liter V8, a configuration that's already present in other M models. Output should be close to 600 horsepower, but I wouldn't be surprised if the M8 Grand Coupe gets more than that. For reference, the Alpina V7, which is based on the latest 7 series, comes with 599 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. But BMW could also use the twin-turbo, 6.6-liter V12 that motivates the M760 Li, the most powerful iteration of the 7 series. This sedan benefits from 601 horses and 590 pound-feet of twist. While the former needs 3.6 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, the latter achieves the benchmark in 3.9 ticks. With the M8 Grand Coupe likely to be lighter and have better dynamics than the M760 Lee, 60 miles per hour should come in 3.7 seconds or less. Top speed is likely to be closer to the Alpina model at 193 miles per hour. The transmission will be an 8-speed automatic regardless of the engine. M8 Grand Coupe Pricing Pricing information is obviously not available at this point, but the M8 Grand Coupe shouldn't cost much more than the M6 Grand Coupe. The latter comes in at $119,800, so it's safe to say that the M8 Grand Coupe could fetch around $125,000.
This would make it not only the most expensive model in the M lineup but also more expensive than the competition. The Audi RS7, for instance, comes in at $113,900. A new generation version of the AMG CLS 63S is not yet available, but the outgoing model starts from $108,900. Hopefully the M8 Grand Coupe will have something to offer for the premium. The M8 Grand Coupe might seem like an awkward decision at first glance but since the 8 Series will replace the 6 Series BMW also needs a replacement for the 6 Series Grand Coupe. And even as the latter doesn't get discontinued like the two-door version did, BMW could use a more upscale competitor for the Mercedes-Benz CLS and Audi RS7. With a more unique design and a powerful drivetrain, the M8 Grand Coupe could succeed where the M6 failed in this niche. Thanks for watching. Please click subscribe for more story.